Alright guys, here's a video on how to upload your photos for the very first time in Photo 2, Photo 3, or Photo 4. This is different from the way we do it in Photo 1, and I want you to learn to do it this way because this is how most real photographers do it, and you, by taking this more advanced photo class, are on your way to becoming a real photographer. So the first thing we need to talk about is where you put your memory card in on your computers. You have a built-in slot right down below on your actual computer. It's right here. You can see here's the USB port. Here's the headphone jack. There's another USB port right here. You can't see it in this picture. But your memory cards go right in here. We use SD cards. So your memory cards are going to go right into this slot right here. It'll look something like this. Let me zoom in here so you can't see my big old fat fingers. Okay, but here's the notch on my memory card. See how there's the corner? right there that's cut off it looks like so that notch goes to the right the memory cards facing up and it just slide it in put these in gently once you break the slot on this thing we can't use it anymore without replacing that little unit and that's about a hundred bucks to replace so let's just uh, put these in gently make sure we put them in the right way not try to shove it in see how the notch goes to the right memory cards facing up just put it in gently and once it's in all the way it will look something like this so it'll still be sticking out and uh, hanging out there so be careful not to kick it or anything like that okay once we put our memory card in ideally a box should pop up asking you what you want to do although we all know that what we uh, want to ideally happen does not always happen so to get it to do what we want to do is let's go ahead and go to our start menu and choose computer right here and this box right here is going to pop up and one of these removable disks is your memory card. I've got a whole bunch of them. You won't have probably quite as many. But one of these is going to be it. It may have the name Nikon D90 or D7000. It may not. You need to find out which one it is by just double-clicking on one. If there's nothing in there, this box will pop right up and say, Hey, insert something into disk E, and then I can open it for you. So just hit Cancel. And just keep double-clicking on all the removable disks until you get one that opens and if you see a folder that says DCIM you know you're on the right path you know you're where you need to be so let's go back for me this is the G drive uh, yours may be the G drive it might be different but once you find out what it is what you're gonna do is right click on it and you're gonna choose open auto play you got that by right clicking right on this and choosing open auto play <clears throat> and then this box right here will pop up and we're going to do two simple things. We're going to click this box right here that says always do this for pictures. Check a box in there. And then just click on download images using Adobe Bridge CS4. There you go. And this box will pop up. This is actually what it will look like, not the other one. This is where we want to be. If we get this, we're doing it right. In the future, now, whenever you put your memory card in, this will automatically pop up. You won't have to do all the steps that we've done up to this point. If you get this to pop up, go and click on Advanced Dialog right here in the bottom left-hand corner, and it will change to here. Here's all our photos that we're going to be uploading, and we're going to assume for the sake of this tutorial that you're just going to upload all of your photos. So we won't get into that yet, what, we, what other options we have here. We're just going to leave all of them checked. So we're good over here. We're going to come over here where it says Location, and this is asking us, where do you want to put these photos? So let's go ahead and click on Browse. And as always, we start by in Computer. Then we go down to O Drive. Then we go to Photo Shared. Then we choose Johnson. Then choose your period. Let's do period. <coughs> excuse me. Period 2 for the sake of this video. Then find your folder. Here's mine right here. Click on that. And we need to make a folder that is the name of whatever assignment we're uploading. So let's call this the Uploading Practice Assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and with my name clicked on, I'm going to click on the Make New Folder button. We're going to call it Upload Practice. And then I need to press Enter. But watch closely what it's going to do right here when I press Enter. Of course, it didn't do it. So occasionally what will happen is when you, you type in upload practice, let me do it, let me redo it. You type in upload practice and you press enter to tell it you're done typing. And it will change and it won't say upload practice, it'll say new folder instead of upload practice. 
And this is kind of confusing because they actually renamed it. It's a little bug in the bridge program that Adobe never fixed. But it's the only problem that we have, and it's still easier to do it this way than to do it the other way. So let's, let me show you how to fix it. So if you typed in upload practice, but it still says new folder here, just come up here. Yours will have a little plus sign next to yours instead of this little triangle. Just click on the triangle or the plus sign, click on it again, and now your folder will be named correctly. It's kind of a strange little bug. I don't know why it does it. It usually only does it the first time you create a new folder. And then after that, you should be okay. But <clears throat> if that does happen, click on the little plus sign a couple times. It'll go back to being a normal name. And then we'll just click on the name of the folder we want to upload to, and we'll hit OK. Now the rest is really simple. Create subfolders, none. Rename files, do not rename files. Okay, we're going to check these two boxes, open Adobe Bridge, and delete original files. Make sure both of those are checked, and then we are good to go. We are going to go ahead and press Get Photos. Okay, it has finished uploading all my photos. It says we have successfully copied them to this folder. I'm going to check it, make sure I put them in the right place. I did, and it says, do you want to delete these files from your camera or card reader? And I'm going to go ahead and press Yes. And it's deleting my photos. It says your files have been successfully deleted. I'm going to press OK. Thank you very much. And it's going to open up Bridge for me, and it's going to open up to that folder so that I can see all of my photos that I just uploaded. Now, very important, as soon as you're done with this, reach down and take your memory card out and put it back in your periods memory card cup or put it in your pocket or your backpack. But people leave their memory cards in the, camera, in the computers all the time, so it's just a good habit to get into to as soon as you're done uploading reach down and pull that memory card out and put it somewhere safe and that is the how you upload it for the very first time in adobe bridge